as you may already know, we bought a fire truck, which can mean only one thing. We're going to cool a computer with it. Obviously, this would have worked a little better if we plumbed up some water blocks, but here's the rub. A fire truck can reach up to 200 PSI of pressure. Normal PC water cooling fittings, those are rated for about 8 PSI. But if Jay's video is anything to go on, that's at 140 PSI. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> We think they might be able to handle a whole lot more. How much? Well, there's only one way to find out. Courtesy of AMD, who sponsored this video. The Shipstorm sale event is live now on LTTstore.com. You'll get free shipping on any order over 150 US dollars worldwide. So it's a great time to pick up a commuter backpack or a scribe driver, a screwdriver, or anything else you've had your eye on. And we're featuring our lowest price ever on our magnetic cable management essentials bundle. Go check it out at the link down below. Woo! Yep, we bought a fire truck, all right. A pumper to be specific, but how hard does it pump? Well, we know it has an 8.3 liter Cummins diesel engine, but these things came in all kinds of configurations, meaning that the exact power this engine makes, is kind of hard to say, but somewhere between 240 and 400 horsepower, which is good because under this console is a 1,250 gallon per minute pump which is perfect because according to some rough maths from Alex, we need at least 240 horsepower coming down this drive shaft to run that pump at its rated output. Now I know what you're saying down there typing, oh, my RAV4 makes more power than that. Well, this diesel engine makes about four times the torque. Let's put into the context of a PC. A D5 pump makes about 0.03 horsepower, 5.5 PSI, and is able to 6.6 .6 gallons per minute. Our fire truck exceeds those numbers by anywhere from 36 times to a whopping 8,000 <laughs> times, which kind of makes sense when you consider the difference in size, I guess. And as you saw in the intro, it results in a big difference in performance in the real world. With that said, as we learned when we built the Maximum Airflow PC, there's a law of diminishing returns when you add more coolant flow. So we aren't actually 100% certain that our fire truck is going to meaningfully outperform our D5 here. I mean, we're pretty sure, we're just not 100% sure. We will soon though, once I'm finished hooking this up. To adapt our fire hose to a PC, we've got this G82 BAT to quarter inch NPT adapter from Greenline. Shout out Jeff there, by the way. He had a wonderful LTT store water bottle. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I just entered with a fire hose and he was like, please tell me you're not connecting that to a computer and then sold me all the stuff to connect it to a computer. Nice. What a guy. It's easy to be a good mood when you're always refreshed and hydrated. <laughs> LTTstore.com. We're ready to go? Well, pressure gauge. We want to know how much we're actually putting into these things. Right. Oh, and there's one other thing. AMD, our sponsor who made this video possible, kindly requested that <clears throat> we not unalive any of their hardware. So, are we? Oh. <laughs> but on the first run, all this stuff is dead anyway, so... Yeah, we'll find out how badly it's going to go here. Hey, AMD. Great stuff, though. Shout out AMD. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is terrifying. Oh, I mean, yeah. should we should we fire it out of this just to see what happens <laughs> sure. before we do that? Okay, that's a regular PC water cooling pump then. Now for the truck. Oh God, where are my glasses? On the subject of safety, never do what we did in our last video where we were quickly opening and closing the shutoff valve. The sudden stoppage of flow can cause the pressure to spike potentially over 10 times the working pressure. Uh, this can be helped with relief valves, but we don't have them. And also in firefighting situations, they normally don't bother with them because it takes too long to put it on. Also, we're gonna get a bunch of electronics wet, so we have a GFCI plug. Yeah, good job, everyone. Woo! <laughs> okay. Okay. What's the pressure like? Okay, we have about like 70 PSI coming out of this hose. <laughs> okay, another safety thing. Note that I like, approached with caution 
really high water pressure can like rip your skin off. 80 PSI, probably not so much, but still. Man, this thing wants to go. She's getting right snaky. Snaky. Yeah. What would happen if you let go? Do, do you want me to let go? I don't know, sure. It's getting warm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. That's pretty funny. It's a good sprinkler system. Why is this water so hot? Are you noticing this? Feel this. Oh, wow. Okay, give her more. You want more? Yeah, I want more. I mean, what are we even here for if we don't do more? <laughs> 125! Okay, it's going up to like 150 nearly. <laughs> okay, okay, 150. Okay, okay so, so that's 150. Fun. Okay, well that's All great. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna close the valve. Okay, it's all fine. Okay. All right, drop her down. Okay. Should we have face shields for this? I think it's fine. 200 PSI is a lot in computer, but hydraulic lines are like 3000. That's when it starts actually getting scary. Okay, I'm just gonna be out of line of sight of a fitting. I don't want a fitting in the teeth, you know? Okay, so are we at about what the pump was doing before now? No, it's way more. Oh, that's way more. Okay, so that's about, yeah. that's probably about the pump. Oh my God. Yeah, 40, nearest 30, makes no difference, 20, zero. That's like five PSI. So let's have a look at what would be double computer pressure, okay? Yeah, fine. About like so? Yeah, it's doing great. Okay, let's double that. Whoa, she's at about 40. All okay. right. Okay, she's uh, she's holding, she's holding steady. She's steady, boys. All right, Alex, give me a hundred. 80. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna start standing back. 90. I'm honestly surprised it still is just fine. A hundred. Is she going still? Yeah, it's fine. It's working. 125. Okay, we've been up to 125, and what would you be expecting to show signs and wear here? At this point, I was expecting the radiator to maybe be bulging a bit or some yeah. of the fittings to be leaking, but... Well, on Jay's system, the reservoir detached from the pump, it was those acrylic yeah. uh, threads that went. But this all seems to be fine. Yeah, besides all of it just shaking. Well, yeah, <laughs> aside from that, full 150. I mean, this tube is a little big. Yeah. She's rock hard, boys. The tubes are definitely a bit engorged. I was expecting this to let go by now. What the hell? Does it have more? It has a lot more. 170. 175. 200 PSI. Oh man, the fan's spinning. What? Do you what? think that is from the pump? What? The pump, I think, is generating a bunch of electricity and powering the fan. What? They're the connected to the same Molex. What the f The pump's plugged in here. Yeah. It's powering the fan. Okay. Ah, ah Jesus! <laughs> ah! 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 Right at me! I <laughs> knew we needed a blast shield. Oh, you got it too. Yeah, I got nice. it. Nice. <laughs> One of these old Bits Power compression fittings finally partially let go. Now, one tricky thing is I didn't anticipate what this pressure was gonna do to the water's temperature. It's getting hot. Water cooling with the fire hose, <laughs> feel it. Oh yeah, it's pretty warm. May not be that effective, <laughs> sir. But that won't stop us from trying it. Just like AMD won't stop making the world's best gaming CPUs. Now it's time to kick things up a notch with our fully armed and operational gaming battle station. This thing has a 5800X in it, okay. so very capable Not gaming the most modern CPU. thing, but yeah, what he said. And we really don't want to kill it, do we? No, that other system was very successful, but do you think these more modern, very fancy fittings will hold up the same? See, I actually have a theory that these more modern fittings might not hold up as well. Yeah, same. A, this tubing, while it's really good for preventing evaporation, is actually a little bit more slick on the outside. And B, I feel like a lot of water cooling manufacturers have gone away from those old school bits powers that were just raw, rugged clamping mm -hmm. force. And they're more about the looks. Like, I don't know if this reservoir is gonna hold Corsair. How's that even attached? Here's the thing. 
Just because our pressure gauge goes up to 200 PSI doesn't mean that that's where our fire truck stops. Alex, what will she do? I think it'll go up to 400. Let me check. So we're putting a blast shield in place. Well, it is bright. <laughs> it's just that the blacks are also bright. <laughs> like probably brighter than most other monitors that we use. We're getting about 46 to 47 degrees on the GPU and about 62, 63 on the CPU. Let's see what happens when we dramatically increase our water flow. This may be the most pointless thing we've ever done. Are we just leaving this system running and just swapping the coolant live? I guess so. I mean, the valve is closed on this, so theoretically you just open her and we're good to go for the beans. Ooh, give me 150. You want one, you want to start at 150? Yeah, cause I can adjust it with the valve. How's our temp? Okay, very high. Oh God. Okay, here comes some water, boys. Okay. All right, we're now at 36 How's our degrees. Temps? Okay, so temps are good. Okay, so here's pretty typical water cooling, you know, flow. Uh, well, this is a little on the high side. We're at about uh, 10 PSI. Oh my God, why am I back here? Literally, what is the point of a blast shield if I am behind it? Okay. All right, there's 50. Oh geez, she's hey, leaking. Can I get a zip tie? She's leaking. She's what? She's leaking. What do you mean she's leaking? Already? <laughs> yeah. What a piece of crap. <laughs> okay, that's at least partially our fault for leaving a plastic fitting in here. Is that where it leaked? Yeah, from there. Oh, like here. this piece, piece of shit. <laughs> First gen Corsair water blocks. I remember calling them out on this and they were like, no, no, it's really good. And I was like, no, it's not. And they were like, we felt you were very unfair. And I was like, no, I wasn't. Let's go get the emergency just in case we need a more hardcore machine machine. <laughs> we'll let this thing dry out. It should be fine, by the way, it should be fine. Meet Big Bertha. Oh God, we used a Corsair block again. Oh geez, we did. That might be bad. You can really uh. see that other than that Corsair block, uh, which might be better, it is a newer one. Um, this is pretty robust. We're using pressure rated hose this time. We're using server barbs that are generally designed to have hose clamps on them. Yeah, and these then we're guys. using, yeah, there you go. And we're using worm drive hose clamps because working with these ones is kind of a pain. The best thing about this system though is probably going to be that flow meter. <laughs> yeah. That thing's going to be going. There's the new one. And that looks a fair bit more robust. Oh, my confidence level just went up 100 PSI. Okay, let me know when you're ready. We're ready. Just slow. This scares me every time. We pulled out the radiator, had a little issue there, but now we're good to go. We got our flow meter and let's get our screen cap set up and get this thing running. I feel good about this. On the CPU, we've got an all metal block, so that means the screws on the underside are threaded right into metal. And on the GPU, we've got an acrylic block, but man, this is one of the thuggest looking acrylic blocks I've ever seen. It's so thick. We have a different GPU now, so it's not an apples to apples comparison, but this is a 450 watt GPU and it's currently running at uh, about 60 degrees. Okay. 100 PSI! <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't even see the blades moving in this flow monitor. It's just a blur. We're at freaking 35 degrees on the GPU. <laughs> see, the die on the GPU is so big that your bottleneck for thermal transfer actually is the block to the coolant oh, yeah. rather than the die to the block. Like, you see, the CPU stopped going down. We're at 42. I mean, it went down a little but we can bring this GPU down to damn near the ambient temperature just by hooking our PC up to a truck. That's all you had to do. Wow. It seems so obvious now. Woo, let's go. All right, 150, how are we doing brother? Is our GPU at 26, 26 degrees? 26 degrees. I had Alex put some fresh water in the tank. This may have thrown our results off a little bit, but my God. It's working good. And yet the CPU is still locked. 
33 degrees is not what I would consider a law. No, oh, I mean, I, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Whoa, is the tubing starting to bulge? Oh, are things is it, leaking? Is, I Holy think, crap, I think things are leaking. It's like dripping. Where is it leaking? Oh crap, the GPU block is leaking. Wait, the GPU block? Yeah. Is it bowed? I think it's bowed, Alex. Whoa, buddy, yeah. yeah you can see it, yeah. yeah, it's bowed. I mean, I guess that's what 150 PSI will do for you. At this point, do we just turn off the system and see what you'll take? No. <laughs> the people came here to see it run. Let's see what temps we can get. 200! 200? It's at 200, boys! Oh my god. The GPU looks okay now. Wait, it didn't even go down anymore. At 30C? Yeah. That's probably just the temperature of the water. Yeah, the temperature's going up. Also, the GPU block bowing might have something to do with it. Oh, I wonder if it's not blowing through the fins as yeah. much. <laughs> it's probably shortcutting the impingement jets. That makes sense. Dude, that's <laughs> crazy. 250, let's go. My gauge only goes to 200. So I'm just going to open her up. Alex says it's at 250. I'm gonna hope this gauge doesn't blow up. Oh, it's leaking a lot. What? Oh, sh <laughs> Did you kill the computer? Oh, wow. She failed hard. <laughs> okay, to be clear, we're not criticizing EK. Not for this, anyway. I mean, we were well over 200 PSI, probably like 230, 235. I didn't have it open all the way yet. And also, like, our gauge doesn't go that high anyway. Yeah, so we're guessing, we're guessing. We're flying blind. I guess bottom line, it's just a matter of the materials and surface area, which, you know what? That other one that had, like, twice as thick acrylic probably would have done better. The issue was just that that card ended up not working, so. Dude, and the metal CPU block didn't give any cares. No, and not at all. this thicker acrylic flow meter, dude, this thing cared about nothing. I think part of it is that the screws on this one are secured into metal, into mm. a metal faceplate. So that probably helps quite a lot. Just like it helps to tell you about our sponsor. I mean, AMD. It, oh yeah, right, AMD. Hey, hey, the AMD CPU did fine <laughs> and survived. Probably. If you guys enjoyed the vibe of this video, you might like the one where we hooked up an array of uh, lithium polymer batteries to this like bizarre turbine fan. And you might also enjoy checking out our sponsor, AMD. Uh, Alex actually, I know, right? Just switched over to the Ryzen AI Max. What is it, the 395? Max Plus Pro 395. This thing is sick. It's insane. <laughs> like investment disclosure and framework, but damn, this is ebook. Damn. It's so good. Go AMD. Let's go.